guys, it's Angeline here. So today I have another makeup tutorial for you guys. This is my go-to makeup look when it comes to filming or going out, stuff like that. I did not have any idea what to film for today, which is why I filmed this makeup video. I know I uploaded one not too long ago, but yeah, I kind of ran out of ideas. So if you guys have any, let me know in the comments below and I will try and think of some sort of DIY for next week. For this summer, just to let you guys know, I'm going to try and upload every Friday, if not like every weekend, sort of around that time frame. And if I also have time, I'll upload on like Monday or Tuesday, so up to two uploads a week, I think. So before we get started, if you haven't seen my last week's video, me and my friend Emma tested out this really insane DIY Jello Box camera. It was a camera made from a Jello Box, hence the name. If you want to see how it turned out, click the link in the description box below to watch that video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me know um, that you guys are liking the videos that I'm uploading. And yeah, now without further ado, let's get started. So first off, I like to take my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and there's eyelash glue on it if you're wondering what that is, and an angled eye brush, eye brush, eyebrow brush. I have like insanely dry skin, so usually I will moisturize before, so I've already applied my daily moisturizer, and now I'm going to take my Versali Unicorn Essence. My skin literally sucks the life out of my foundation during the day to the point where like my foundation is flaking off with my skin. So this is what I usually do. I look really stupid, but... And now I'm going to take my new favorite foundation, which is this um, foundation stick by Hourglass. It's in the color Sand. Now this is a little dark for me because I bought a little bit of a darker color so that way my summer color would match a little better. Today I want to go with a really light, um, light coverage, so I'm not going to put a whole lot on, just about like that much. And after that, to lighten the foundation, I'm taking my Naked Skin Urban Decay Color Corrector. I look crazy. <laughs> I used to love using my beauty blender, but then I got really lazy and never wanted to um, dampen it, so now I use the stippling brush, which needs to be washed. I just go in and mix all these colors together, and I don't really apply foundation to my forehead because my forehead gets so dry, and yeah. So I just add a little bit of this so that way um, the texture kind of blends in to the rest of my face. And then I'll do this yellow part last. This also kind of acts as my concealer, highlights my under eyes a little bit. And it kind of looks like reverse contouring, but I didn't mean to do that. It's just how I put my colors down. But I mix them in anyways with my brush, so not a big deal. Then I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus. And I don't know if it's focused or not, but I'm just going to spray my face down with a little bit of this. Or a lot. And then continue... <clears throat> Oh, it tastes disgusting. And I also do a tiny bit under my nose because it's a little red there, but I don't add too much because my eczema will freak out. Just to kind of counteract the color a little bit. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'll bring down the center of my neck just to, again, kind of match the texture. So I'm going to take this bronzer by A2 House. It's called the Tight Shading Corset in the color number 5. Then I just add a little bit to my forehead, not too much though, because this powder really dries out my skin. And now we're going to move on to contouring my nose. I like to take a little fluffy brush like this. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Palette, which this is what happens if you get water on the top of it. I didn't get it on the inside, just the top. I'm going to take this shade right there and kind of go up and down the sides of my nose. So for my eye makeup, I am going to take my Coastal Sense palette and I built this myself online. So I can't really tell you guys the exact color, but I'll show you guys on here so you can choose something similar. I'm going to prime my eyelids with my um, Urban Decay Priming Potion. So now I'm going to take this color on my Anastasia Contouring Kit. Take some of that on my brush and tap the excess off. And then I'm going to work that into my crease. And I want this to be really subtle. I don't know why my camera just died, but hopefully what happened in my DIY Jello Box camera video is not going to happen again now. I'm going to take this like burnt orange color now on my brush and I'm only going to take 
just gonna take a few dabs of that and blend this into my crease but I'm gonna really concentrate in the crease and not blend it outwards so much so that way I keep the color concentrated for the third time my camera has turned off and now I'm going to take this burnt orange color mixed with a little bit of a dark gray or black go in with this on my outer corner right here and really only concentrate it on the outer corner so now that I'm done blending my crease color, I'm going to go in with this gold eyeliner stick and I'm going to put this on like the mid to outer portion of my eyelid and kind of blend this into my crease or my darker brown color. Just try to like fade it out. Kind of like that. And don't worry about the inner portion, we're going to blend some gold eyeshadow into that after this. So now I'm going to take this little flat brush and take a gold shade. I'm just going to use this yellow gold color from my Coastal Sense palette and I'd use my Naked palette, but it's upstairs and I don't have it with me. Kind of like that, and then just so that way the gold and the outer crease color blend together. I'm going to take this brush again and go back over and blend the crease again. It is time to go in with some liner. Now you can do wing liner if you want, but I personally like to do um, liner with eyeshadow. It just gives a really smoky effect. So I'm going to go in with this uh, small angled brush and the darkest color in this palette, this black right here. There's my liner. I'm going to go ahead and take this domed brush now and use it for my under eyes. And I'm going to take this burnt orange color and a little bit of this gray right here and just blend that underneath. Now I'm going to go back into my eyelid and darken it up a little bit more just because I want a little bit more depth. I'm going to take the same burnt orange color with the black and then into the gold a tiny bit and then it's still a little not blended so I'm going to go in with my Dawn brush and blend this out and then now I'm going to take my angled brush again whatever is left on it with the black from earlier lining my eyes I'm going to go over the black one more time and then also go on my under eyes and line the outer third And the last step for my look is to highlight my inner tear ducts and also my um, the arch of my brows. So I'm going to take this bright white color and mix it with a little bit of gold. After I've done my inner corners, just to blend in a little bit more light, I'm going to take my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero um, highlighting palette and I'm going to take Glow Getter. So now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going to take this fan brush, which is really in need of a bath, and my Anastasia Contour Kit. And honestly, this is my favorite highlighting color in here because it comes out the most, like, it doesn't come out super glittery and it just looks the most glowy and not, like, shiny, if that makes any sense. I just don't, I don't like the super glittery highlighters, which is why I didn't use my, honest, uh, my... Nicole Guerrero palette because I feel like that one is really glittery. And that is my highlighting. And now instead of mascara, I'm going to put on false lashes and then blend in mascara into them. Okay, so I am back with my false lashes and I'm going to go ahead and add on a little bit of lip gloss. This is by Jordana um, in the color TTYL108. And yeah, so now I am completely finished, and this is how my whole look turned out.
So that is it for today's look. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. And also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and would like to see more videos from me. Also, you can hit the little bell icon on my channel's main page to make sure that you get notifications for whenever I upload a new video. Also, all my social media sites are in the description box down below. Like always, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I am most active on there. And yeah, so that is it for today's video. Overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye!